let's have a look. You will find our website. Um, and then I'll give you a little tour of the website. Here we go. Um, first thing you will notice is that um, there is a link on the front page to the list of winners. And the list of winners is um, basically a Google Docs file, which I update after every event. And uh, at the top, you'll find some blurb about the tournaments, um, where to find the actual detailed results, which is always on chessresults.com. We'll have a look at that in a minute. And usually a link to the latest event. And then as you scroll down, you'll be able to find, um, in this case, uh, a little advert. Um, ways to pay if you've forgotten and a few links to things that I think are useful. And then you'll find the list of prize winners. In this case, the most recent event was the 11th and 12th of August. Three sections, under 2200 was won by Oscar Pollock on four and a half points. Fantastic score from a rapidly improving junior closely followed by uh, Rob Wilmoth from Hendon Chess Club and uh, Maria Represa Perez and um, both on four points and Michael Hamilton won the rating prize on tiebreak with the rating of 1697 just to go down the sections under 1900 Oliver Weiss uh, won it with four and a half out of five. Another excellent score. Followed by three players who would consider themselves uh, amongst the favorites to win in a normal run of events, but um, they fell short by half a point. Salvatore Pepe, Peter Lim, and Dave Cork, and Stephen Pride won the rating prize. Uh, and then in the um, under 135, let's just correct that. In the under 135, um, Lee Bullock, John McDonald, Max Bird, and Rebecca Carter all came joint first with Charlie Ball winning the grading prize. So well done to all of them. So that's where you can find the results. Going back to the website, you'll see that um, I have embedded a video made by one of the players, who is Jack Tavillier. You can watch that video. He analyzes a couple of his games from the tournament, and uh, you should be able to click on that and watch his analysis. He's actually Chess Patsy UK, and if you go on to www.twitch.tv forward slash, um, in his case, Chess Patsy UK, and in my case, Adam Ralph, you will find uh, what is the equivalent of chess television. Lots of people, including grandmasters like um, Simon Williams, broadcasting live about chess pretty much every day and I recommend twitch.tv to you if you're interested in chess and you just want to see what's going on players like Simon Williams playing chess live um, Jack Tervillier here playing uh, events and talking about his games and in my case um, I talk about tournaments that I organize and sometimes analyze games from those tournaments and sometimes I play chess online with varying results. So that's the, the Hampstead website. It's very easy to find these um, results, detailed results, pairings and scores on chessresults.com. You can just Google chessresults.com and then switch to uh, the results from England, or you can go to 
any of my websites, Hampstead or Golders Green, and just click on the link for the document and then click on chessresults.com's link. And um, in this case, let's have a look at the most recent Hampstead tournament. So I've switched to the England results and I'm going to scroll down and have a look at the most recent tournaments listed. So I've got a tournament tomorrow at Muswell Hill and I've been updating that and therefore that appears right at the top. Uh, there's a tournament in Manchester that was updated about an hour ago and this is the one we're looking for. In this case, um, Hampstead, three sections, updated a couple of days ago. So let's have a look at the under 2200 section. You can see by default you get the, the list of players in rating order. So the top seeds were Rob Wilmoth, Maria and Oscar. And if you change the view to the ranking list after five rounds, it's a five round event, then you can see the final scores. And you can ignore the tie breaks. Basically what you're looking for is the number of points the players got. Oscar got four and a half. Rob and Mireya got four. Three players got three and a half. And uh, six players got three points with Michael Hamilton winning the rating prize because he had the lowest rating. Um, and if you want to switch sections, you can do so quite easily just by clicking on the links. So let's say we go to the under 1900. Again, you can see the seedings. You can switch to the final ranking. You can see Oliver won that. And if you want to, you can see the pairings round by round. Let's look at the last round. And that will tell you who played who what time they played, what date they played, what the results were. Um, and just to go from left to right, board number, seeding, so he was the fifth seed, Oliver, uh, name, rating, number of points they were on at the beginning of the round, the score, and so on. And then if you click through, click on any player's name, and what you get is um, a breakdown. You give all the details of the player and you get a breakdown of all the people they played and the results. So a buy followed by four wins for Oliver. Um, if we go to the under 135, again, seedings. Um, you can see, even though it's an under 135 ECF graded event, I've given the FIDE ID codes. And if you click on a FIDE ID code, let's say for Lee Bullock, you get the FIDE card for that player. Sometimes you get a photograph, but you get all the details of the player's blitz, rapid and standard ratings, and a history of their rating and where they are in the world. So that's quite good. Chess trivia. Um, what else is there? If you want to go back to the tournament homepage, you can click on the official homepage of the organizer link. And you can export these details should you wish to. So if you play one of my tournaments and you want to keep a record of all your events, you can print the list of, um, let's find the cross table. Just up here under the list, you can click on final ranking cross table after five rounds or starting rank cross table. And all that does is it puts the players in the original order of seeding. But I like to look at the final ranking cross table so you can export this and keep a record of it. Of course, you don't have to do that. You can always look at chessresults.com. And there it is. So. Lee, for instance, had a buy in the first round. He had white against number nine, Leonard Coolin, and he won. Then he beat 
number 17. He had black against number 17 and one. Then he drew with white against number seven in the fourth round and so on. And you can see the final scores down the right hand side. Um, and if a player has literally no grading or rating and I don't know anything about them, they will have a zero in this column. Normally they will be a rating or a grading and Leonard is from France and uh, is playing in his first graded rated tournament. And Ryan at the bottom here is from um, England, but based in China, this junior, again, playing in his first tournament. So that's chess results. That's how I use it for Hampstead and similarly for Golders Green. So if you're interested in uh, finding out more about Hampstead Congress, just Google Hampstead Chess and have a look at hamsterchess.blogspot.com and if generally you're interested in um, finding out what kind of things I do I'm involved in quite a few chess events click on the link for chessengland.com and you will find my it's a generic website that has information about everything I do and um, Yes, it is. It is me. I am doing this live on uh, YouTube as a bit of an experiment. Um, we are we are trying something unusual because we don't have time to do uh, prize giving at the end of some of these events. What we're trying to do is do a virtual prize giving. It isn't always working out because I can't always do one after an event immediately after. There's just so much packing away and traveling to do. Um, it doesn't always work out like that, but I can always do a virtual prize giving soon after. So, you know, this is the first opportunity I've had to do anything for the event at the weekend. And um, people have given me really good feedback about this. So we've been doing it on twitch.tv forward slash Adam Ralph. We've been doing it on Facebook Live, and now I'm trying it on YouTube. The first time I've done it on YouTube ever. It took me a few goes to get it right. You can tell me if you think I've managed to get it right in the comments. Um, I can see your comments. I'm not sure if they're on the um, screen, but... Um, I think it's working out very well. So this is chessengland.com and you can ignore pretty much all the other tabs because they're a slightly out of date but what's on the main page is very relevant. You've got some blurb about me, you can join my mailing list here which is a huge mailing list, you know I've got thousands of people on my mailing list. On the right you can see an embedded calendar from uh, Google Calendars with a list of all the tournaments I'm doing. If there's something on there that you like, you just click on it. Uh, I'm adding the streaming to this too. If you just click on it, you'll get a drop down with a link to the registration page and details of the tournament. Um, that's fairly straightforward. If you want to register and you just can't find the link that you need, you can scroll down and click on one of these buttons and just click register and it will take you to the registration page. And if you scroll further down, you get the link to twitch.tv forward slash Adam Ralph and some chat and um, scroll down and you find further information about my tournaments. I'll leave you to explore that. So that's Chess England. And increasingly, when you go to, for instance, uh, let's have a look, 15th of September is Golders Green. So if you go to the tournament website, you will find another link to, in this case, you will find links to the Google Docs page. So that's the link to the Google Docs page for Golders Green 
and this is what it looks like more or less it's the same kind of page with all the results on and some various information about how to get involved with what I do and how to find out how to get your prize paid basically send me a bank account and sort code by email or your PayPal email address and it will be straightforward um, and I am through no fault of yours I am quite busy my chess events seem to be very popular at the moment so I'm falling behind a little bit with some of the admin but um, you will get paid you can trust me you know where to find me so that's that so we've had a look at chess results I recommend just browsing that it's very entertaining there's there's so many events thousands of events being hosted on chessresults.com you can see not only results you can actually find games on quite a lot of the slower events so if it's a standard FIDE rated event you can click through to a PGN file and play through it similarly uh, I've shown you the FIDE site ratings.fide.com and on that you can often see games of players through a uh, PGN database you can play through them on screen or you can download them that's fantastic what a resource and um, just a quick mention tomorrow Muswell Hill got quite a lot of players coming if you're interested in playing in one of the FIDE rated sections just google Muswell Hill chess and register as soon as possible because I think we will be full pretty soon so my name is Adam Ralph and if you're interested in what I do you know leave me a message Google Adam Ralph and you'll find quite a lot of links to Twitch YouTube and various other channels and um, friend me on Facebook and uh, if you have any questions or you if you've got any comments about this video let me know thanks very much for watching see you soon